What is up, everybody? I'm the Skullcrusher 21, and I'm here with Tomb Raider Definitive Edition. Now, this was the first series I've ever done to my channel, and I've ever completed. But, since it came out on um, Xbox One as a new HD version, I thought, why not let me just do this remaster in HD? So enjoy the cutscene. I finally set out to make my mark. But instead, adventure found me. In our darkest moments, when life flashes before us, we find something. Something that keeps us going. Something that pushes us. Well then, that was pretty cut, pretty awesome. Now, let's start to the game as we are dragged through a damn cave with skulls everywhere. Lovely. You know that's a good sight. Yep, yep, there we are. Chilling with the body. Crystal Dynamics. Oh, hey, how you doing? Okay, we're stuck in this thing now. I remember this. I remember a lot of things in this game, so I think the gameplay will be much better. And like, because I'll know what to do now. But I wanted to do this. I wanted to do this in HD because back then it was only done with my phone, and since it's now in HD, why not? Oh, later, buddy. Well, obviously you can't die like this. Yeah, you got a lot to live for. Probably. Well, obviously it's gonna hurt because it's fire. All right, and batting. And a stab it Stab, stab. And here go, it starts her cycle of getting injured every five seconds with the stick in our side. Rip it right out. Alright, let's get out of this cave. Oh god, alright, we're just gonna walk it off, walk it off. 
Oh god. Uh, there's an art body. What is this place? Looks like a shrine to me. Like I said, shrine. Maybe to that guy. Torch. Where's the torch? I need a torch. Alright, there we go. My torch. Nope, oh, nope, oh, we got this. Damn it. I'm in the future. I, I'll be doing Rise of the Tomb Raider 2. I saw, uh, Rise of the Tomb Raider as well. I saw a little bit of it. It looks really awesome. So, damn it, there's my torch. It looks like, I saw like a few minutes of it. It looks really awesome. So, alright, there we go. So I'm going to do that as well. Because I loved this game. And the other one looks spectacular. Alright, and... Fire. Okay, boom, explosions. Ah, basic. Alright, oh, probably rock, alright. Oh, oh, god. Oh, hey, buddy. Oh, god. Stop. Get, get away. Nah, I ain't coming back. Yeah, 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 you yeah, ain't trying to help me, buddy. Come on. You ain't trying to. And if you are, you try harder. Alright, and the water. Okay, shut up. Over there. How, how is your hair not catching on fire because of this, exactly? Seriously. Yeah, I'm not going to define video game physics anyway. Alright, here we are. Find a way out. Alright. Right, there we go. There goes our torch again. We got this stuff. Alright, so. First things first, relight it. And then try to get this up with these. And I'm getting a PS4 for Christmas, so. To, uh, that'll expand my gaming even more. With the, uh, Last of Us Bloodborne, um, Until Dawn. I'm looking really, I'm really excited for that. And a lot of, a lot of things, actually. It's gonna be really cool. So, hope you guys look forward to that. Jump. Okay, put that down and push all that shit into it. Yeah, wash it inside. Alright. Alright, can you say you're on fire yet? Alright, that's one thing. Good. I messed it up. I think I messed it up. Alright, first things first, put everything in. Now, let's go. Get, well, first things first, get back up there. Come on. Okay. Now we light everything on fire. Light it on fire. Oh my god. Oh, no, there we go. And shove. Okay. Down and explode. And more explosions. It's like a Michael Bay movie up in here. Yes, you did, because Michael Bay has found us and he's attracted to these explosions. That's where we find the wild Michael Bay. We just we just set up a bunch of explosions with pyrotechnics and he'll come like a moth to a flame. Remember that, people. Remember that. Also, I hope you're enjoying my, um... Jason Voorhees plays series. It was supposed to be like a Halloween thing. I was supposed to do a Halloween special with Outlast and Slender. I might still do that, even though it's not even, even though Halloween passed. I never got the chance to, so I might do that. That actually would be pretty fun and scary. Also, if you like the Jason Voorhees plays thing, let me know in the comments. Because that's really fun. It's a really fun series to do. And I kick him in the face. Yeah, boom. Okay, run. It's a really fun series to do because I like wearing the mask. Like I've worked for Halloween, that's why it's all bloody. So yeah, if you want more of that, let me know. Oh shit, no. Falling. No, no, we got it. We're good. 
run all the way up even though I doubt I'll be able to do this. The quick time events. They are evil. That's so much fun to do for some reason. Good dodge. No, we're almost there. Go to the right. Go to the right. Alright. Yes, we made it. Okay. Well, that was fun. All right, let's just get up on our feet and revel in our awesomeness. No, nope, no, nope, still fighting. Just go enjoy the scenic view. Tomb Raider. This looks a lot better than it did on my phone back like two years ago. Is it two or three? I've almost done this for like three years now. So like it looks a lot better than back then. And I'm really happy about that. So yeah. Sending it out last. Yay, lifeboat. Are they? Oh, actually, I know where they are. Probably. Let's go find. Search for this fight. All right, let's go find them. Oh boy, balancing segments. Take it slow. Yes, take it slow. Even though the camera automatically points down, which really is never a good idea to look down. Even though when people, even though the ironic thing is when people say that, you do it anyway. I, I never got the point of that. I never really did. Okay. So I also made a Dead Space video yesterday, but I was so pissed. Like, really annoyed over my brother and sister and how annoying the game was getting. So I didn't get to finish the final chapter yet. I might do it solo or I might do it with the Unleashed Beast, I have no idea. But you should look out for that one too. Might be funny to some of you. It might be funny for me to rage. So now I've done that on this game too. All right, let's go. Let's go climbing. Yes, you can do this. All right, let's go. Climbing away. All right. Yep. This. I've always enjoyed this game. Like, it's always been a really fun game, and now that I love how it's been re remastered on HD, so. Also, um, look out for Bioshock 2 in the future. Oh, oh jeez. Oh god, alright, we're good. Dirty again, we're good. Bioshock 2 will be out in the future, with me and the Unleashed Beast, because he really wants me to play the, he really wants to do Bioshock videos with me. Like we did back, like I did Bioshock 1 by myself, but he wants to do this. Like, with, he wants to do it with me, so that's cool. And so, there we got all this stuff. Sam! They must have come this way. Probably. So I won't be uh, talking during the uh, cutscenes, just to let you guys um, experience. Oh shit! To let you guys experience the dialogue, um, it just makes it easier that way. So whenever there's like a cutscene or important dialogue, I won't be talking. Other than that, I'll try to make do with my really terrible qual, terrible commentary. Sorry about that. Ah, screw it. I don't care about sound. You can hear me. I'm right next to the I'm right next to the to the camera. All right, let's take shelter under the rocks. Unless these rocks betray us, like in the ones in the cave. Looks Thank you. 
Is anyone listening? Please respond. You don't think we have had enough fire for one for one day with all the explosions back in the cave, but sure so yourself, you need to be warm. Create more fire. Let's check out a little camcorder to relive some memories. Here's the soon to be world famous archaeologist, Lara Croft, in her native habitat. She's on the hunt for the lost kingdom of Yamatai, home to the fabulous Himiko, mythical sun queen, and ancestor of yours truly. <laughs> Sam, this is serious. Oh, sweetie, I know. I'm just trying to lighten the mood here. Everyone's so on edge. What are you so worried about? I'm close to something. I'm sure of it. I just don't know if the others will listen. Or even if they should. Lara, you know this stuff better than anyone. Seriously. I'm not just saying this to make you feel better. I trust you. Roth trusts you. You got this. Now let's take a break, okay? Okay, okay. And Sam, thanks. She's not always this serious, you know? Come on, Come on No, oh. no, it's your chance! How can you suggest I'm not serious about this expedition, Laura? It's not just Sam's family funding us. I put my savings on the line, too. We've all got some kind of stake in this. The funding won't last forever, Whitman. That's precisely why we should push east, not west. No one believes Yamatai... No one believes Yamatai is that far east. The books simply don't support it. Well, whoever wrote those books never found Yamatai. I've talked to Roth about this. There's no point in following in other people's footsteps, Dr. Whitman. I refuse to bet my reputation on your hunch. I'm the lead archaeologist here. And when were you last in the field with a TV crew behind you? Got 30 years experience, two PhDs, one in East Asian history. So why don't you just stick to boats, Mr. Grimm? Ship, Dr. Whitman. It's a ship. You don't need a PhD to know Look, that. Going east will take us directly into the Dragon's Triangle. That's where we need to go. <sighs> Lara, my little bird. I'd follow you almost anywhere, but that place has a bad energy. Bad storms, more like, makes the Bermuda Triangle look like Disney World. <laughs> Sign me up. The stories about Queen Himiko say she could summon storms. Myths are usually based on some version of the truth. What if Yamatai was somewhere in the triangle itself? Well, look, this is the satellite imagery from inside the Dragon's Triangle. That doesn't look good. If it's wet, I can sail on it. Oh, don't tell me you're seriously cons... Enough! is right. We don't have the funds to piss about. It's now or never. Lara's offering fresh ideas and a plan. I'm the captain here. It's my decision. We're going into the Dragon's Triangle. Why am I even here? Sweet, sweet memories. But seriously, why is Whitman here anyway? I hate him so much. He's such a dick. Nobody likes you, Whitman. Why'd you come along? I can't just sit here. I've got to find Alright, let's go find some food then. Dear. Dear. Come here. Be my dinner. Be my dinner, dear. Oh Little guy's chilling with his bow. Nothing out of the nor nothing out of the ordinary there. So I think we're good. Rabbit arrows. Alright. 
I'm just gonna steal the guy's bow, even though he's just sitting there chilling. Now hug the tree. There we go, rabbit. Go take it down and oh, that we're good. We're good. Thanks for the bow, buddy. Makeshift longbow. This thing still works. Of course, it still works. It's a friggin' bow. You can have the best form and technique in the world. Oh dear, be my dinner. Thing if you can't focus. The key to using any weapon is focus. Yeah, I can focus, Rob. Seriously. So hungry. Not in school though. <laughs> Definitely not in school. Well, I can focus a little bit, but it's just like annoying these days. There you are, dear. Did I, did I hit him? I don't know if I hit him. He's moving. Damn it. Oh yeah, I forgot to zoom. I forgot I could zoom. Alright, there we go. Oh, right in the face. I'm so sorry for you people who like deer. I personally have no problem with them, but we have to eat. Deer, I shot you in the face. How are you still alive? Just get it over with, Lara. Just get it over with. We have dinner. Alright, right, let's get back to camp and cook this baby. Alright, You won't always have some fancy gadget to tell you where you are. If you can learn to read the land in the Thanks stars, again, Jesus Rob, but seriously, we don't need you right now. Alright. Yes, I know we have to return to camp with me. Alright. This way. But we gotta get some arrows. On our way back to camp. And here we are. Alright, let's spend this good points. Alright. Advanced salvaging, survivalist, animal instincts. We don't really need to hunt animals. That could be good. We're gonna do that arrow retrieval. Because I want to be able to. Like, I'm gonna spend my skill points a little bit better and salvage much better than I did back then. This is Conrad Roth, captain of the Endurance. We are shipwrecked on an island inside the Dragon's Cave. Interrupted by a cutscene. You're alive! Easy, easy. Are you okay? What happened? I remember the beach. And then it went dark and I woke up in a cave. There was this crazy man, Roth, and a dead body. Oh, God. Where are you now, Lara? Are you safe? It was so horrible. It's all my fault. This is all my fault. Lara, listen to me. I sent an SOS from the Endurance before I abandoned her. Hopefully someone caught it. I've spoken to the others. We're regrouping at my location. Please come and get me. I have to stay here. You can do this, Lara. Remember when we climbed Snowden? You said the key was knowing that all you've got to do is just keep, keep moving. moving. Remember everything I've taught you, Lara. You're ready for this. And keep your radio on. Okay. Sorry I was interrupted by a cutscene there. And I was signing up before because my dad was telling me to feed my dog. So I'm going to do that in a few minutes. Um, what I was saying was that the point distribution is going to be much better. We're going to like put more salvaging points and skill points into better things. Is someone there? So, 
So if I get this done quick, then my dog will be, it's going to become impatient with me. I'm going to probably end this off at like the, ha uh, the, the half hour mark to show the first like 30 minutes of the game and then do like 20 minute episodes or something like that. Damn it. Alright, let's head down this spooky thing. And drop. 100 XP just for pressing B. Amazing. Alright. Clown on down to the dark cave. Probably an ancient language, probably. No one knows. Alright, duck underneath, and... We're just trudging through water these days. I don't know what you're doing. Well, you're walking through water, that's what you're doing. Oh god. This is insane. Alright, that's on fire. Let's open this up. Traces of white paint on the inside. Whoever used this mask was of noble birth. Cool. Nice mask. Alright, we'll grab that. Oh no. Oh, meat everywhere. Call this the meat locker. Alright, let's grab this. Looks like shit. We got a pry axe. Looks like crap though. Alright, and pry right open. And you're gonna do it again. And right open up. Alright, making good time. More water. It's just everywhere. Water and fire these days. Mostly with this game at least, like, you have fire and explosions and then we got water. Basically the two elements of, of life, I guess? I have no idea. Someone will correct me on that. Extinguish the torch. Oh, is that you, Sam? Is that you? It better be you. Laura, you made it. Sam, um, thank goodness. Surprise. It's okay, he's one of us. Sorry if I startled you. This place would make anyone a little jumpy. We just spoke to your crew. They're on their way. Look, he bandaged my foot. <laughs> oh, it was the least I could do. My manners, I'm sorry, I'm Matthias. A teacher by trade. Not really cut out for island life, I'm afraid. Sweetie, you look exhausted. Sit down. Yeah. Sam here was just telling me about the Sun Queen. Right, Himiko. Can you tell me more? I'm intrigued. Well, believe it or not, a couple thousand years ago, Queen Himiko pretty much ran things in Japan. She loves telling this story. Himiko was beautiful, enigmatic, but also ruthless and powerful. Legend says she had shamanistic powers. And this is where she loses me. Well, there's always some truth to miss. She commanded an army of samurai warriors, her magnificent storm guard. They rode the very winds of the battle, laying waste to all who opposed them. They say the sun rose at Himiko's command, and she ruled everything its rays touched, from the mountains to the sea and beyond. But what happened to her? Sam? Matthias? Oh shit. No! Sam! 
Well, that's unfortunate. Well, we're gonna. Oh, well. All right, so we're going to end it off here on a little cliff note, but I'll continue this next episode.